also like to bow down to your dedication to football manager. <laughs> uh, I, I lost many summers, summer holidays growing up, play, being indoors, playing that game. And I used to think five, six seasons was an achievement. But, um, I mean, your manager's profile, he must be about 90 years old. <laughs> he's, a, he's, a, he's 100 um, and you stop, <laughs> you stop ageing when you reach 100. So I'm 100 forever now. So, no plans um, to retire and maybe go on a cruise or anything, start a new save? No, there's always the the thing that gets me is so at the beginning we asked talked about Avicii Strock briefly, but he's he scored a hundred and no eight hundred and thirty six goals for Celtic. Um, <laughs> so, but then once he retired, I thought oh, I'll give it up then. But then another really good striker came through, and then when he retired, another good striker comes through, and then it's like there's always a player or there's always an achievement that keeps me going. I do constantly think about I'll just quit Celtic and go and take the England job and win a World Cup or something. But then it's like well, I don't know who's going to take over Celtic, and I don't know if I trust them. If it was like a club legend that I'd had at the t- club and i was guaranteed that he'd take over then perhaps i'd leave but you never you don't, i don't want anyone to ruin my great you know groundwork i, I imagine this is what sir alex ferguson went through as well I mean, when he how, how would you re- how, i don't think you could be replaced <laughs> no I'm, uh... i must admit uh, my current save at the moment funnily enough is hearts trying to break up the dominance of Chelsea. um <clears throat> That's on the iPad, though. It's not quite as good, but I keep finishing second because you've got to pretty much win every game to beat Celtic. <laughs> yeah, I got the. I was Hearts manager before I was Celtic manager, and I kept finishing second, kept getting to the cup final and losing to Celtic. And then I got sacked for not overtaking Celtic, and then Celtic gave me the job. Um, so it was Hearts' is lost, but because I've become so good um won champions leagues and things like that the money and sponsorship of the scottish premier league and the number of champions league places that they get is obviously increased massively so hearts have got massive windfalls now so hearts are really good as well um a couple of seasons ago montrose won the uh europe <laughs> you won the europa league um so like basically montrose and a few others got taken over by uh what are they called really rich people I can't, oh, tycoons, that's what it's called. And they've got taken over yeah. by tycoons. So they've got quite a lot of money. So whenever I get anyone or hearts get anyone through their youth team that is quite good, but not good enough for me or, or for hearts, Montrose and a couple of others just sign them. So they've got really good teams now as well. So it's quite competitive. It's been quite good to see the other teams. Great Rangers are still like third or fourth. They're still quite crap. Yeah, I found yeah. that with mine as well. I feel like my version is like on Dave or something like that because you've already done it and I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> just describe my version. <laughs> you just need to wait for all the reg- new new gens. Football manager tell me off for calling them regens. You need to find the new gens when they come through because that's you can make up whole personalities for them and make up whole backstories for them. So that's basically what happened with the Vichas Strock and why I wrote loads about him because I made up a whole story, backstory about what happened with him. But like... I, there's, there's players that I think, oh, he's probably a knobhead in real life. Or there's somewhere I think, I bet he's, I bet he's dead nice. I bet he look, I bet he bought a house for his mum in the Highlands. And there's, yeah, <laughs> so you just make up little stories for them. And it gets me, gets me through. I think it's made my girlfriend quite worried about uh, what goes on in my mind. But, you know, it's fine. Wow. <laughs> This lockdown's proven how vital something like football manager can be because it's um, the only thing that's sort of kept me sane the last few weeks. <laughs> My girlfriend has absolutely no idea what she she says. All you do is press space bar and then occasionally you click a few things and then you press space bar again. She said, <laughs> she's like, just let me have a go. I was like, I'm never letting you touch this ever in my life. But a few years for our anniversary a few years ago, she got me a a brick uh, engraved that's outside Celtic Park that just says Johnny Sharple's manager on it. <laughs> so, uh, one one day we'll have to go and visit that. But, uh... yeah. So, you know, you were going on about the new gens. Yeah. Um, I used to do uh, the Tramia like, edit for Football Manager years ago. I wasn't very good at it. Made all players too good and got told off loads. But that's pretty sure you used to get offered the chance to be a new gen. So you'd put your name in and they'd make you a new gen. So I wonder whether there's that's still there. It's like all the all the people in the credits, it's like new gens, you know, like so um now they, they in football oh what football manager was it? One of them that they um asked for loads of people to send their photographs in and they used them to, to whenever a new gen came through, they just had a random person's photograph that had sent their photo in. <laughs> um and now they do I think some people they've got loads of competition winners that are 
their name in everybody's sing- in every single person's save there will be at least one new gem with like com- a competition winner's name in it um and i think the same that there's probably quite a few staff and um people that work for sports interactive and sega that have um new gens named after them as well but um i ran a competition um earlier this year which marked when avicii struck would have joined celtic if it was real um it's real to me <laughs> but um i football manager one of the people that worked there tried to get them to agree to let me raffle off um, a prize where you could have a new gen named after you, but um, it didn't get signed off in the end. But they sent me loads of other stuff, so that was all right. But I was dead gutted when they wouldn't uh, agree to do the new gen thing. <laughs> if you do start a new save, um, would you do a try me one just for us? <laughs> um, I don't know where where, where I, I only play Football Manager 2013, so I only play a really old one. Uh, so I don't yeah. know where, where Tramia were in 2012 13. Were they in League there? One, I think. Oh. Yeah, League oh, One. That's not... Yeah, that was the, so that just, was when it just to break up the, just to break up the dominance of Liverpool and Everton on Merseyside. I think that'd be your challenge. Yeah, well, it's quite interesting. Liverpool got. Um, so Liverpool won the title probably about four seasons ago in my game, which was their first title since 1990 or 89, which I won. Oh, yes. And then they got relegated three seasons, three years afterwards, um, which was, I think they must have ploughed all their money into getting the title and then just went bankrupt and got relegated. They got promoted straight away, but Everton are in League One now in my game. I think they've just got promoted <laughs> back into the championship. But Wet Wolves are in the League Two uh, West Ham have been in League Two for quite a while. Uh, Port, Port Vale are one of the big teams in England now, so it's like quite interesting to see how it goes. Port Vale bought my, um, so I had a really good left back, but he got. I tend to sell anyone that reaches when they reach thirty, but I had this really good left back, so they bought him off me for about fifteen million pounds, and then by the January, they'd had enough of him, so I loan got him on, back on loan, and then. Um, I think I, saw, I can't remember what happened to him. He's back. He's still playing about thirty-seven or thirty-eight now. But he might be in Italy, where all the old old players go, because it's slower. Um, <laughs> it's scary to picture the fume from Everton fans for being in League One. Oh, mate! It generates some some energy that you could probably power a few major cities on. I can't. I can't remember. Yet. I can't remember what way round it went, but I'm sort of hoping that Liverpool got relegated first while Everton was still in the Premier League, and then they'd be gloating, and then Everton got two straight relegations into League One. Does well, sound like Everton, though. Yeah, my best mate's an Everton supporter, so it's always good when they do shit. <laughs> or, um, you did a tweet with the, the top five funniest things that had happened in that save the other day. <laughs> the funniest one is that Sunderland sacking Pep Guardiola as manager and hiring Jay Spearing as his. <laughs> <laughs> they um, Guardiola had a really weird career. So I think it was him and Mourinho. One would get a one would get the job. So say one got say Guardiola got the Manchester United job, and then he'd get sacked or quit, and then Mourinho would get it. And say Guardiola then went to Bayern Munich, and he'd get sacked, and Mourinho would then go to Bayern Munich. But it happened about five or six times that Mar- that. Guardiola would get a job, and then when he left, Mourinho would be his replacement. So it's like he was just stalking him around, <laughs> trying to constantly prove that he was better than Guardiola. It's quite like real life, that, to be honest. Yeah, I don't think they've quite got into the, got quite that into bed with one another, to uh, use a phrase. But yeah, it's quite. Uh, I, I I just love the stupid stuff that keeps happening now. Like um, I say, Montrose winning the Europa League, and um, who else are really good now? Oh, Lazio, something that's not that weird though. But uh, Albino Lefe, who uh, I can't remember what like, league they're in, they're an Italian team, were really good. Havre, the French team, won two Champions League in a row while finishing sixth both times in the French <laughs> league. So, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Do you find, Johnny, that you have like a really good um, memory for football players in their careers based on football manager? Because I think Ant's a bit the same as me. People just say to me all the time, how do you know about, about him or how do you know who he plays for? And it's just literally going on player history, on football manager. <laughs> I'm remembering it like Rain Man, but I don't remember most things people tell me. Uh, yes, I, every day, um, right? So I can, <clears throat> one of my one of the stupid things that I learned how to do, uh, if you show me a like national flag of any country in the world, I could tell you who it was. So a whole, all, I memorized all 197 flags, and that's only because of football manager. So um, <laughs> I can just learn how to pick out different flags. Yeah. Uh, but no, with, with player histories, but sometimes you find that your um, 
memory of them has gone wrong because it's what happened in the game. In the football stage, manager. Yeah. Mm. But uh, so in mine, Eric Lamella won the Ballon d'Or, but he was Spanish, so he'd taken on. He decided he wasn't going to be Argentinian anymore, and then yeah, became Spanish <laughs> and won like 130 caps for Spain. So sometimes I'll get confused about what nationality Eric Lamella is. He's Argentinian, I think. And then he's Spanish yeah. in the game, yeah.